In this video, I'm going to show you the best defense to blitz with post-patch, specifically if you're still trying to loop in your pressure concepts. This defense is super, super effective for doing just that. And we are going to be in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. We'll be taking a look at the 245 odd. Now, I released a video on 245 odd actually two different times this year, once in uh, November, and then about four weeks ago in the Patreon, we actually put a about 20 minute breakdown on this blitz defense, why it is so good. And we were actually planning to expand on it into a full defensive ebook on the formation um, and then just kind of didn't do it. Uh, but anyway, with the patch and with some of the changes, it kind of brought this defense back into consideration. So I'm going to show you one version of the Blitz today. Um, it's not the whole version of the Blitz. Everything's going to be in the Patreon. We actually did do um, a completed updated version a few days ago in the Patreon with 245 odd, 335 three, 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 odd. 3-3 three, three Cub, Nickel Over, Big Nickel, Dollar, 146-236, Dollar 3-2 um, Mug as well, and Quarters Normal. So if you want to get access to all those defenses, everything's in the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything, and if you want to become a member today, it's, like I said, it's only 10 bucks. so link's down in the description. What you want to do here is you want to kind of importantly, you want to put your best, uh, your fastest pass rusher, ideally is going to be here. And then you've got LT, who's a great little like pick artist type guy. You can put pick artists on him. So very, very good. Now, the main play that I do this out of is pinch two. You can do it out of other plays, but the main defense that I do this out of is pinch two because I run a lot of zone. And what you're going to see here is all we have to do is QB contain. That's it. And the blitz is set up. And then you're just going to stand like to the right. You want to stand opposite of the running back. So just like that. And what you'll see typically is the blitz did not come in, which is fine. It doesn't always come in. It's not 100%. Um, it's not 100%. And there's other. There's actually some challenges with this blitz, which I'll get into in just a second. But what you'll see here, a lot of times you'll get this loop, this looping contain, and then you will also get um, this this guy coming around the edge. So very very simple defense. Again, just QB contain. Uh, you're going to come down just like that. And as you can see there, that time we got the really nice pass rush. It does not happen against every formation, but it does happen against bunch. And we know that bunch is one of the most popular formations uh, year in and year out. And as you can see there, really nice pressure. Now, uh, I think the real secret though, and the challenge of this is that if they block a running back. Uh, what you'll see here, so this is against a blocked running back. A lot of times what will happen is that looper will come around the running back. So this makes this really good for formations such as bunch, uh, really any formation where the running back is the primary blocking vehicle. If you just contain crash line down, this time I'm going to zone out that vert hook. Uh, and a lot of times you're going to see here that the pressure doesn't come in right there. Like I said, it's not 100% consistent, but when it comes in, it comes in. And I think a four down lineman rush is the best way to play this year. Um, you want to be sitting four every single play at least. Uh, and so this gets you the ability to send four, and it gives you the capability to come in untouched completely f completely free. So that's that's you know what the value is. Now, another thing you can do is you can slide this cornerback off of the edge. But as you'll see here, that one of the big problems with this defense is the is that right there. As you can see, not only is that problematic, but also um, against different alignments, this formation can actually struggle. And I'm going to explain why. So one of the number one meta formations in the game is tight. Um, this is one of the main meta formations. A lot of people run tight. It's been good all year. If I come out in this play pinch two, you're going to notice here that we get this. Uh, this little stacking so this is a complete bug in the game and if I snap this ball a lot of times they run into each other or you see we get like this almost kind of like it's like they polarize one another in the blitz angle and I'll show you this in replay so you see here see how they kind of like they kind of like polarize or give a polarizing effect or run into each other and you see that right there that's a bug in alignment and that's a bug in movement that's the main problem um, and that's one of the main issues i think with madden 23. so what you can do to what can you do to fix this well all you got to do is spread um is uh spread or pinch your linebackers so when you do that now what you'll notice is this guy is no longer in the contain the only thing you need to do is just slide him in a step or two and he'll go back on the contain. Uh, 
and then you'll be able to run your blitz and you can have potential to come in all right so another thing that I like to suggest to people when running this is you if you base a line against type that is also a way to get him to that to get them to not be all over one another and also then you can just slide I messed up the slide but if if you slide this guy in just a step or two and forget this plague this this reps a wasted rep but of course I say that and I get pretty good pressure but what you'll see here is if I baseline and press I don't even have to press if I just baseline I'm gonna QB contain and we're gonna slide him in a step or two just a step or two just super super simple slide and then you can see now the pressure is going to be more in line with what we want it to be. Now this raises an actually interesting question about this, and I've talked about this before on the channel, and I'm going to talk about it again. I think the best way to blitz post-patch, this is just my opinion, I think the best way to, to blitz post-patch is to try to loop on one side and try to send edge heat on the other side. So we're going to turn auto flip off, and we're going to run pinch two, and the setup is going to change just slightly. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, QB contain, and then we're going to crash our line down just like that. So you see it creates this this little angle right here, super, super good. And then now we can slide this guy in a step or two, and the setup's not too cumbersome. And you can see there's the loop, and there's the edge concept. Super, super effective, able to handle blocked running backs. And you can also do this. The beauty of this is, like, let's say that you're playing somebody that likes to flip their formation. If they like to flip their formation, we're not, we're not dependent on alignment. So you just run your defense as is, and you see how good the blitz is. I think Sin 4, Sin 5 is the best way to play defense this year. And the beauty of this is, again, it kind of brings that concept full circle of sending edge heat on one side and sending loop pressure on the other side. Now, again, you can run this out of anything. So, like, I mean, you can run this out of um, out of cover 4 drop. Right? If you want to run out of cover 4 drop, all you're going to do is going to blitz this guy. You're going to crash your line down, QB contain, slide this guy in so that he's on the contain. I would recommend re-blitzing that guy on the other side. And then you can run it just like this. This is a four-man version. doesn't always come in. Sometimes it's going to come in, but you're guaranteed to get good sheds when you send four in this game. So that is 245 out, at least a little bit of a snapshot of like kind of the con some of the main concepts in it. If you want to get my entire ebook on the formation, we're going to be dropping that uh, in the next couple of weeks probably. Uh, and then again, like I said, it's in the Patreon. Everything's in there. Uh, we have a full, I think, 45-minute breakdown on this blitz between the two videos we did on it, as well as 335 Autumn. We'll be dropping an ebook on 335 Autumn in the coming future as well uh, because both of them are very similar in terms of how they're ran. I think 335 odd is a little bit better um, because you don't get that alignment bug that we're getting right there. But there are some advantages to 245 odd as well. So, again, there's pros and cons to every single defense, but we just try to provide you guys with as much information as possible, and you can make the decision yourself for what you want to run offensively and defensively. That's why we have over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon so that you can play the game how you want to play. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.